Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do five different features in Microsoft Excel. This is from my intermediate and advanced class. So I'll have an Excel worksheet and I want to email this out to a lot of people. All I want them to do is change these numbers and all my formulas change, but I want to make sure they don't delete any of the formulas. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight B2 to B7 and I'm going to name it Revenue and press enter. So now whenever you click here and select Revenue, there it is. And then to do the sum function equals sum REV, look there's Revenue. So your named ranges will show up when you're doing functions. And the average if I want to do the highest, I'm on the Home tab in the top left. Here's the Editing Group, Max, still picks it up. Let's use the mouse again. So far so good. I also want to show you two Excel functions you should know if you're in the business world. So the Max will always figure out the highest, but I'm looking for the second highest. That is the large function, comma 2, because I'm looking for the second highest. If I was looking for the third highest, I would have done comma 3. 35 is the second highest number. The second lowest is opposite of large is the small function. So there you go. Now, if you want to actually display the formulas on your screen and not the answers, meaning these right here. It doesn't matter where you're at. Do control and the grave accent mark on the keyboard. I'll do it again. You just toggle back and forth all you want to. So that is how you display formulas. Now I want to make sure I'm going to delete these. The problem is with deleting them is, depending on how your numbers are formatted, that's a zero, zero, zero. I'm going to show you how to display, I'm going to show you how to hide your zeros, and I'm also going to fix these error messages. So on here on the e average is if error average. What that is saying up in my formula bar is if there's not an error, do the average function. If there is, the double quotations mean blank. Put in a blank. Right here, I'm going to do it again. Let me get the mouse out of the way. That might help. So do the large function because it says value in bold comma, now it says value if error, double quotes, hit yes, and the last one, this is one of my probably favorite functions, I use this function all the time. Now, if you want to get rid of the zeros, you don't want to delete them, because the formula goes away. File, up at the top left, go click on Options, click the word Advanced over here to the left, move over to the right and scroll down just a little bit past midway, Display Options for this worksheet, take that check mark out right there, click OK. And then the last step is to highlight this range. Because I want to protect everything except this range. Right click, Format Cells. You're usually on the Number tab. Go click on the Protection tab right here. Everything in Microsoft Excel is always locked. I'm going to unlock this because I want people to be able to type in it. And then here's the next step on your screen. It says go to Review and hit Protect Sheet. So hit OK. Review, Protect Sheet. Before I hit OK, 
I don't want people to be able to select the lock cells, which is everything except this range. Hit OK. Now you can't even click in column A and you can't even click these formulas, but you can put in numbers. There you go. If you need Microsoft Excel training, please give me, uh, send me a message. Thank you.